Okay. Um, good morning to all that are watching us or listening. We are at Kawata Police Station. I'm Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, chairperson for information and publicity, member of the Central Committee in the Patriotic Front. Our Secretary General, Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, was issued with a call out last week. He was unable to attend and respond to this call out because he's had the bereavement in his family where he lost his uncle and he's been uh, with those processes. There have been developments this morning when he reported to uh, 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 service headquarters with his lawyers, Honorable Makebi Zulu of Makebi Zulu and Advocate. So we'll get a brief from Honorable Makebi Zulu, who's been with uh, Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, then I will pick it up from there. Well, the status is that uh, Honorable Nakachinda has been detained. He's not been arrested. We went in for a warn and caution statement. And according to the police, sometime in 2002, particularly in November... 2022. Uh, 2002. Uh, 2022, rather. Yes, yes. correct. Yes. 2022, he made a statement to the pub, and uh, that statement infuriated ECZ. So because ECZ was infuriated, they are saying that Honorable Nakachinda failed to obey a statutory duty. He disobeyed a statutory duty. According to the police, uh, Honorable Nakachinda, the, statutory, the duty that he failed to obey as regards ECZ was that he made that particular statement. And uh, which statement was not made to ECZ, by the way, but uh, ECZ having been infuri infuriated, they have chosen to hold him on this particular charge of failing to obey a statutory duty, when he had no duty whatsoever. So we just went in for a one and caution. There has been no arrest. We inquired as to why there is no arrest. They are saying they are still investigating, as it were. Uh, we are wondering what they are still investigating from two, uh, 2022 until now, uh, that they couldn't have concluded, and uh, he has been detained. We hope that uh, perhaps tomorrow, they could arrest him so that we go uh, to court and he's given the right to defend himself. Uh, yeah, he should, he should be able to defend himself. Uh, just a clarification when you say ECZ. The Electoral Commission of Zambia is infuriated by a statement that he made. It appears as though every statement that you make against ECZ is now a criminal offense. No one is allowed to make any statements against the ECZ anymore. And they intend to do this for everyone, it appears. On record, what have we complained about ECZ? The independence and autonomy of ECZ, the structure of ECZ, the lack of balance at ECZ, the lodgement and employment of UPND cadres such as Mwangala Zalomis as commissioners of ECZ. Our complaints against ECZ remain they will not go away by the arrest of Nakachinda. For the record, Honorable Nakachinda had expressed concern that he had information that there were pre-marked ballots. This was during the Lusangazi, Mukushi, and Mwense by-elections. You remember we were holding those council chairperson uh, 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 by-elections. So Honorable Nakachinda during that time is alleged to have stated that there were pre-marked ballots somewhere and he had uh, he had expressed concern that the process may be rigged. So ECZ appears to be the complaint in here, and they are saying if he had uh, information about pre marked ballots um, that he should have, then uh, he had the statutory duty to report to the police. I don't know how many times President Daka in the HLMA talked about pre marked ballots. We never saw ECZ say, President Ichirema, the statutory duty to report to the police or to ECZ where the so-called pre-marked ballots are. It appears uh, these are new offenses we have to witness. Our complaint against the autonomy, independence, and structure of ECZ will not go away by these threats of arrest that they've done and on Honorable Nakachinda. If truly, if truly Honorable Nakachinda had done something wrong, cancel this matter is when again. 4th November 2022. This is two years ago. 
if Nakachinda had done anything wrong, they should have then pursued and prosecuted him in 2022. So this is a threat and intimidation against us to be silent about our concerns on ECZ. I wish to repeat, we will not be silent about ECZ. Our complaint that they have UPND commissioners who will not go away. The current conduct where we've conducted about six ward by-elections and they've refused the submission from PF. PF has not participated in these by-elections. They've been prevented by ECZ who claim that uh, Nakachinda and Ed Galungu are not office bearers and therefore they will not be allowed. They will only accept from Mao Sampa. A fraudulent process. It is on record. And we have stated and we are glad that uh, all the people that uh, Mao Sampa used have now spoken out. How fraudulent that conference was. How the state, state house, minister of home affairs and parliament have committed crimes against the patriotic front and against the constitution of our country. We will not stop talking. And how they attempted to destroy democracy in our country. So the arrest of Nakachinda will not will not be cowed, will not be threatened. We will continue to expose the crime the crimes and the criminals. If he sees that he's, he's participating in crimes, we will expose them. They want to arrest whistleblowers like Nakachinda. Instead of looking at themselves and the law and uh, uh, the Electoral Process Act and what is provided for in the Constitution, why is ECZ barring PA from participating in the by-elections? Why are they recognizing Mao Sampa when the matter is in court? There is no final determination that Mao Sampa is president of the PF. They want us to be quiet about it. We will not. This is our country. We have a duty to speak and we have a duty to speak boldly. And we have a duty to reject these machinations they are doing against us. The threats they are doing against us. I'm glad that your client, Honorable Nakachinda, is, is, is even very excited about this case. Maybe it gives us proof to now Focus our attention on ECZ, everything they want to do, you know, from electronic voting. We are very much aware of all the machinations occurring under ECZ. And if they think they will silence us by this, probably it is time for the opposition to begin to raise these concerns about ECZ and what's happening uh, 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 around ECZ. Elections are not rigged, will not be rigged on 12 August 2026. The process begins now. Who goes on the register? Who has been issued with an NRC? Who be issued with a voter's card? How will the counting process done? Do they want to introduce electronic voting without the participation of the opposition who have expressed concern? The composition of the commissioners, their regional basis. We have a duty to protect democracy and to raise these concerns without fear or favor. We have a country to rescue and will not be cowed by what they've done to Nakachinda. To my fellow members of the Central Committee, Nakachinda is at Kawata Police Station. Mwabalete Akwame, she come and be in solidarity with him. The issue is to isolate and, 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 and separate us. And then make us fear to speak about the ills and crimes happening in our country. That shall not happen. We shall speak. So thank you very much. We'll give you an update when, when we have to. Thank you, guys.